Welcome back, guys. We have another awesome, awesome episode. Yes, we, we are. Do. I think we're answering um, mail questions again. Yes, this one. I love answering those mail questions. Well, this Keep one comes, coming, guys. This one comes from a very good friend of ours, actually, from here in New York. It's uh, Rico Ruiz, who is a franchisee uh, for um, franchise owner for uh, Rapid Realty. So, what up, Rico? What's up, kid? We see you working. Listen, this guy's a hustler. He yeah. works hard. You know, you cannot ever, ever um, badmouth this guy as hard as he works. And you can't ever say that he got lucky because uh, his luck was all self created through his hard work. Luck, you know, man, brother. His one preparedness meets opportunity. Absolutely. So, here's his question He says, well, it's a two part question, which is really. One question put together. <clears throat> What's the best way to continue to be successful when you have so many roadblocks in the way? And how do you say how do you stay consistent when you have a lot of things happening at the same time? Oh, good question. Very good question. Tackle, brother. Tackle. So, how to stay consistent? Another way of putting consistency is persistence. So, another way you can ask this is. How do you stay persistent when the whole world seems to be going against you? And I think we all have We've that all been there at one point or another in life. And actually, I want to take a little bit of from, from Napoleon Hill again and Thinking Grow Rich. He said that there's almost a secret teacher who has to test your persistence before, before a breakthrough happens. Mm -hmm. Any major kind of breakthrough happens. Uh, there's like almost a secret guide that has to test your it's, you have to go through a persistence test. So I think the number one way to go through a persistence test in life is to always have the end goal in mind. If you have the end goal in mind, that will pull you. Mm -hmm. That will pull you out of anything you're going through. It will help you go through any kind of difficulties you're going through. Because you, if you constantly keep that vision in your mind, you'll remind yourself why you're doing it. Why, 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 why you keep going through whatever you, you whatever you're still going you through? You just hit it on yeah the nose. The why, the why because is huge. Yeah, there, there's two there's two ingredients to getting to that destination, getting to your goals, and going through all those obstacles. And that's one, defining your destination, know where you're headed. You know, yeah. don't don't just say. There's there's a video I saw maybe about two weeks ago. I can't even remember who said it because I was watching so many videos. But it was about, you know, oh, I know who it was. Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Belfort. <clears throat> yes. The Jordan. Jordan. So anyway, he was talking about knowing where you're headed. You know, this is point A. Yeah. This is the starting point. And a that's straight point line. B, and having a straight line. Yes. And giving yourself in that straight line from... Point A to point B from the beginning to the end, giving yourself some leeway on the top, some like leeway perimeters, on the bottom. Leeway, some, perimeters, but you have to stay within those perimeters of deviation. Yes. You have to be prepared to, uh, for obstacles. There are going to be obstacles in your life. Yeah. There's no way that you're just going to go that straight Cruise, line. You know who cruises through life? <laughs> the people that do nothing. <laughs> the mediocres. Yes. The people that never go. Guys, how hard, something how hard do you think it is to sit in your couch every evening and watch and watch your favorite TV show? Or play video games. That, that doesn't create many obstacles in life. So, it doesn't create many rewarding experiences either. Someone like you, Rico, you're doing so much. You know, and, and I see you. You're always out there doing more, doing more. That's wonderful. Looking to help more yes. people. And one thing I, I appreciate about you, brother, is that, you know, you, you didn't come from a lot. And this is why we understand each other. You did not come from a lot. You didn't come from a place where, you know, you just had a golden spoon in your mouth. You didn't well, do that. You didn't have that. That might be a source of, of, uh, of his why. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know what your why is, Rico, but we all have it. And maybe <clears throat> you don't want to go back to that. You don't want to go back to where you, you grew up. And, I, and I can tell you, you better for yourself. I can tell you that knowing Rico long enough, um, I remember him from the very beginning saying... I mean, this was a kid starting out, and he was just, you know, a kid that people were, they were doubting him. You know, because he's, he's not out there speaking like an Ivy League guy. He's, he's Rico. He's Rico Ruiz. He's just 
one of us, you know, from the hood. And he said it from the very beginning, I came from very low, very little finance. I am going to make it. So he never had that doubt. So you have I'm going to make it. You have and vision. I'm going to reach my, my goals, but I'm also going to help people reach theirs. And I, I think that's so powerful, that's Rico, because important. he didn't just say, I want to go out there and I want to be, you know, I want to be a bowler and forget about everybody else. He said, I'm going to make it and I'm going to bring people with me. Rico, well, that's what it is. When you have, when you help enough people, I, you know, Zig Ziglar said this, when you have enough, when you help enough people get what they want, you will automatically get what you want. Yes. And Rico, you've helped a lot of people, man. I've seen you. Brother. I've seen what you do. You tough, man. You're tough. You you didn't play games. And you went out there and you did what you had to do. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate this question. So I wanted to touch on two points. Knowing your destination, knowing where you're going, and knowing your why. If you keep those before you, you know why we use vision boards? To see what we want. You work from the end in mind. Yes. And have a why. Work from the end in mind. Powerful. Yes. Know where know it is. Know your you're destination. Headed. Because that will become so powerful when you keep seeing that and you keep seeing that in your mind. It will become so powerful. It will become like a magnet that pulls you. Yes. And at that point, nothing you're, can stop you're powerless you. to resist it. Yeah. At that point, you're just going to be it's going through hell. It's pulling you. You know, like and, and uh, Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Yeah. Because Go. you're going to get out eventually. Yeah. You know, if you're going to stay there, you're going to burn. <laughs> burn, yeah. baby. So keep going, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep helping people because that's what's made you Rico. So keep helping people, all right? Absolutely. Guys, keep doing stay it. motivated. Thank you, Rico. His information will be in this video because we are very good friends. So you can actually find him on Facebook and other places. And um, keep the questions coming, guys. This was a very good one. Thank you, brother. Awesome, guys. Good coffee, by the way. Yeah. Awesome coffee. It's still hot. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you a question. Go ahead. Shoot. I guess his hair wasn't noticeable enough today. <laughs> you know what? I let him go because I wanted to see if he was going to bring it up. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm very honest. So it doesn't... It, what, you you got to come back better tomorrow, George. Really? Yeah, go. It's... No? Go. I, I got to go now? You just, you see, Rico? In me. See, Rico? Man! I'm very harsh. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a critic, you know, but... Does it look but when he bad? does well, I tell him he did well. Yeah, that's, why, that's why he improves. It's on the truth. 